Welcome back, everybody. I just came back from a vacation with the lovely wife. It was absolutely amazing. And then I come home to find out terrible news. There was this journalist that was caught in crossfire by an illegal arrest in Missouri. Well, what if I told you that that title is actually clickbait? There was no journalist arrested, but an agitator that had to be escorted to the ground. Now, trust me, this video is beyond satisfying. So grab yourself some popcorn and without further ado, enjoy the video. That's what you guys are um, yeah, requiring that is you guys, because you guys won't take a verbal. That is what um, you're going to require for a non active time <laughs> I mean, you realize that you guys are totally embarrassing your county, right? Yeah, he is. I realize that we're trying the best we can to handle two people that are under right uh, right How is how is I'm me being assaulted unreasonable? Right. And me wanting and me, and me, how how is me how am I being unreasonable whenever all I want is accountability? How is that unreasonable? Like I said, no, you tell me right now. How is that? How is that? Get out of my office. Where you get out of your office. Get out of my office. You get out of your office. <laughs> I'm telling you one last time. Get out of my office. Don't get up in my face. Get out of my office. Don't get up in my face. I'm having a conversation. You said mm. I'm being unreasonable. I'm asking how He asked a question. Exit my office. Tell you will be removed. No, I won't. Call in. That's enough. Yeah, you're enough. Yeah, you're intimidating me with a gun in your head? I'm wearing a gun in my head. You're intimidating me with a gun in your head. I'm mm. You're intimidating me with a gun in your head? He did walk up on you in a threatening manner. He did walk up on you in a threatening manner, holding his hand back there, waiting to pull it. So yeah, that is uh, that is kind of threatening. That is not right. No, we're not. I want you to answer that. First of all, what kind of reputable journalist would post this as acceptable footage? There's two massive black bars on each side because the moron wasn't intelligent enough to record in landscape mode. He recorded in vertical mode. Now, if you're posting a short, that's perfectly fine. But when you're posting a regular YouTube video and we have to look at two black bars on each side, it tells me one thing. He really doesn't care about his audience or he's way too stupid to operate a YouTube channel. Now, it could be both. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. You're going to say that I'm unreasonable. I want you to tell me how, how me being assaulted and wanting training and wanting accountability, how that's unreasonable. Okay, we'll lay it out one more time. I told you, make it in writing, make it at the sheriff's office, it will be handled. You're refusing to do so. No, I'm not. I just thought I would. You don't listen. Yeah. Then why don't you do it? Well, I just thought I would. Because you made a statement and he asked you to stand behind it. Because I want accountability for your guys' bullshit ass, pussy ass sheriff. Get out of my office. We're done. We're done. What? I can't redress my grievances? What? Get out. Now. No, it's not. What happened to freedom of speech? What? What happened to freedom of speech? You should know that. You took the bar, didn't you? You took the bar. You should know freedom of speech, don't you? I do know freedom of speech. I also know there's no freedom to cuss. There isn't really. Isn't that just speech? Yeah, no freedom to cuss. That's the most ignorant thing I've ever heard an attorney say. <laughs> what a, you don't have freedom to cuss. Hmm. Is wait, were you asking him to leave or me to leave? I wasn't sure which one. To me, for me to leave, so I'm still welcome. I don't care if you're offended, I don't care about your feelings. How's that sound? Uh oh, are they feelings enforcement or law enforcement? We're wondering. The new wave of frauditors are just as creatively bankrupt as the old ones, they cannot come up with anything original. It's always the same script. Oh, is that law enforcement or feelings enforcement? Oh, there's security cameras right there. They can record us, but you can't record them. You can't trespass me until I've committed a crime. 
It's like, it doesn't work. This script is old and tired. It's been played out for the last four to five years. It's time to come up with something new. No what? Uh, I think it said that there's no weapons allowed. These are a statue of the material. What kind of life do you live that you believe that you need that? Like, where do you hang out? Where do you hang out that you think that somebody's going to come attack you at the courthouse? I wouldn't. I don't carry one now. He lives in a county where a sheriff is going to assault people. So. Well, that's true, and then he's gonna, and then he's gonna try to blame them for the sheriff assaulting him. True. I guess that would build the wrong kind of audience. But you didn't approach him in an aggressive manner until then. Well, why did I see it then? I didn't just suddenly materialize on my left hip the whole time. It's your last time you were here. Was it? Yes. But you didn't show it to me then. It's in the same spot it was then. It was then. Well, you showed it to me this time, didn't you? I have not showed it to you. Then how did I see it? Because you saw it. Hmm. I took no affirmative action for you to see it. You simply saw it. You didn't. You said you turned. Then I saw it. I did, I turned around. So I saw it because you were acting. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, right? So I want you to keep in mind that he's laughing like an arrogant prick, but keep in mind that in one minute, literally one minute, he's going to be on the floor begging for mercy with his tail between his leg and his hands behind his back. So just keep in mind that he might be laughing now, but he won't have the last laugh. That's for damn sure. I made your stuff, man. I told you what you need to do. You're refusing to do it. No, I didn't. I said I would go do it. But I want to know how I'm Oh, how Lou, I'm you're so cute. Because I want I'm glad you're watching. There's plenty of video about why you're doing this, sir. That's enough. What? Is it? That's enough. No, what did you say before that? There's plenty of video of you being in the business. There's plenty of media. There's plenty of media in the business. Yes. Yeah. Is. Is ridiculous a misdemeanor or a felony? Oh, okay. I was just wondering. Well, I think that you're totally unreasonable, and I also think that you are you should not be a lawyer if you don't think that somebody can cuss. Watch. Fuck. Shit. Damn. Cock. I can say whatever I want. It's called freedom of speech. Grow the fuck up. Do you want your door shut? I got you. Okay. Thanks for your time, guys. Oh, there's the base. Oh my gosh, they're bringing the whole army here? Oh, they're going to send the bus? They're going to have to turn it over to the back. I should turn it over to the back. They're not. 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 I didn't, he said that I didn't do anything. Okay, where do you want my, where do you want my camera, man? This is, he said that I didn't do anything. Okay, where do you want my, where do you want my camera, man? This is, I'm sorry, dude, I'm not trying to. This is, I'm sorry, dude, I'm not trying to. He said I wasn't trespassed. He said he didn't ask me to leave because I didn't cuss. I got it on the video if you guys would like to see it. Don't let them take me, please. Sir, sir, please don't let them. Sir, sir, please don't let them. Please don't let them. Dude. Please, I'm 
Can you ask? Wow. Can you ask Frosky an attorney? Because he asked us to leave. I walked out in the hall. I then asked him if I had. So to me, it sounds like both of them got arrested. It looks like the cops got a two for one deal with these morons. Now, I'm sure we are going to hear from Rogue Nation and James Freeman calling it an illegal arrest and everybody has to jump at their rescue. But these guys were just total pieces of shit that were just there to aggravate people. My advice to them would be to put down the camera. They clearly suck at it. They're not going to make any money and they're just going to get themselves arrested all while harassing people. So quit while you're ahead. Let's move on to another topic I want to talk about before we wrap up the video. I told you guys about a few weeks ago that I did an interview with a real journalist that was working on a story, and the story was about First Amendment frauditors. Now, being a journalist, he's going to be extremely impartial, and at this point, the video is going to release in three days. And I just want to give you guys my opinion on the whole thing. I haven't seen it yet. I'm assuming he's going to be extremely impartial because he was very professional, very easy to deal with. The interview went great. He had great questions about the First Amendment frauditing movement. And his little documentary is focused on two frauditors. That is Nasty Nathaniel and First Amendment rights. You can see on the thumbnail right here. And I have history with both of them. I know who they are. I've made videos on them. Nasty Nathaniel actually loves my channel for some odd reason. I personally don't think he's the worst frauditor, but he definitely hangs out with DMA and does California style audits. So he's still pretty damn bad. And the other one is First Amendment rights. Now she targets the church and Popeyes and stuff like that. So really, really weird stuff that has nothing to do with First Amendment audits or what they were supposed to be about in the first place. So I did the interview with the documentarian Douglas. I think it went great. And I guess we'll see how it pans out. There's still the Dr. Phil show that's about to release, supposed to be in October. That is going to be a lot less impartial than this, but this will be really interesting. So the link to this video will be in the description. So if you guys want to go subscribe over there and put a reminder on the live stream, that's a really good idea because I will not be reacting to it right away. I want him to get all the views. He worked really hard for that. So I want him to get all the views as possible. I will be promoting it through community posts and then maybe a week or two later, I'll react to a part of it. But go watch it on his channel. It's going to be very interesting. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.